Hello. This is what I look like today. It's been a very draining morning. I mean, it's 3 p.m. now, but it was a very draining morning and I only just worked out and showered and now I'm editing the vlog, but I'm not even halfway through editing and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of editing. I just want to take a disconnect. I want to take a day where I don't have to look at my phone or my own face. That would be nice, but we are going to push through. We are going to persevere and pursue. We're going to pursue our creative goals. I think I'm gonna go get a tea from Starbucks soon because I feel like it. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, so I opened the door to make myself look like alive. Today is Monday, December 14th. It is a new moon, and for my witchy hoes out there, everybody knows that new moon is great for manifesting and bringing new things into your life. So, today, in today's video, <laughs> we are going through my crystals, my crystals, my crystal collection. I'm very excited about it. So my iPad just died. So it's the perfect time to go get grocery and to get myself a tea. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a tea. All right, good news. I got an audition today. My agent sent me on audition. I'm so excited. I haven't even looked at it yet, but I confirmed because Hell yes to auditions. I'm so excited. It's been a couple of months since I've gotten one, so I am very excited. I'm very excited to put on my acting pants. Um, that's a win for the day. Not so good news. I ordered a peach tea from Starbucks and I got this like iced peach tea, green tea, sweet icy mix. I've had these before and they're super good in the summer, but I even said to her, I was like, yeah, just the hot tea. Do you have the hot peach tea? She was like, Oh, did you want the iced peach green tea? And I said, no, no, just the hot tea. And she made me this, but I didn't say anything because she was all alone. There was nobody else there and it was kind of busy. So I was like, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's a treat. I know you're excited. The crystal tour begins now. I have collected my crystals for you and I actually set up a little bit of an altar tonight. Um, I have the house to myself. I have the time. Why not? So what I'm going to do is take you through my crystals that I've collected so far. I have my tea. Tea has suddenly become a part of my evening routine, which I am a huge fan of. Oh, it's freaking hot. I can't even hold it. Whew. If you're wondering, my favorite tea is licorice. And before you go and judge me, it tastes like sweet vanilla and it's delicious. So let me get into it. Let me introduce you to my crystals and what I have here for you this evening. I tried to set up this cute little like altar, but um, I've literally never set up an altar before. So it's just um, my crystals piled onto my boyfriend's tattoo kit. Shout out to Caitlin for making me this. This is my own personal tarot card that she designed for me for Christmas, and it is so cute and so amazing. I love all of the little details in it. New moons are typically best for welcoming in new energy, new moon, new energy, full moon, release the bad energy. That's kind of how we work. What I'm going to be doing is taking you guys through my crystals and show you how I might use them, tell you a little bit about them, and all right, so let's get into it. This is my little makeshift altar that I've set up. This is pretty much what it looks like when I charge my crystals in the full moon anyways. And this is my little meditation journal that I use to write down my reflections on my tarot readings and my meditations. It's really helpful. I'm going to start off with the first crystal I ever purchased, which is a piece of selenite. It's a really small piece here. They say selenite is good for connecting your third eye and your crown chakra. So when you're meditating, you can use it as a tool. It's also supposed to be really good to charge your other crystals with and cleanse your other crystals with. Um, I have a much larger piece of selenite here as well that I like to keep in my living room. It's really good to keep positive energy circulating and it's super beautiful, um, but it is very delicate, so you have to be quite careful. Uh, fun fact, it is named after the goddess Selene, who's the goddess of the moon. Ooh, love. I really like working with selenite because they say it is the end all and be all of like energy healing, so if you need to shed some positive light in your life, it's a really good one to plug into your arsenal. It's um, referred to as liquid light, so it's um, really diverse and a really nice, beautiful stone. 
Next up we have quartz on the list. Queen quartz, calmly quartz, whatever you prefer. Quartz is literally the most well-rounded crystal. It is also used in so much technology because it's literally proven to amplify energy. Um, it is able to take heat and transmit that heat into electromagnetic energy. So it's used in your watch, ultrasound machines, the list goes on. It's pretty amazing. And you can use your energy to charge it with good healing intentions. Um, it's actually easier for me to tell you what it doesn't do. You should definitely take a second and do some quick research on it because it is just the end all and be all of crystals. It's pretty much where I started my crystal work and I love it so much. All right, next up we have Moldavite. Moldavite is probably my favorite crystal that I'm working with at the moment. It's also my newest addition to my collection. Moldavite is the result of an asteroid, an asteroid, a meteor hitting the earth about a billion years ago and it is probably the rarest crystal you will be able to get your hands on. My small piece cost me $22 to give you a little bit of an idea of how rare it really is. Moldavite is supposed to be good to quicken your spiritual journey or connect you to your guides or cosmic consciousness if you will. Um, it's really great to connect to your higher self and a lot of people say that they've connected to aliens but I don't know if I can get on that level <laughs> yet I've paired mine with a little cherub medallion to really reinforce that connection to the spiritual side and these next two I cannot seem to find my notes on I know I bought the little skull there for Trevor and <laughs> these two little golden spheres um, are a man-made crystal of sorts that have all these beautiful gold flecks inside. I bought them with the intention of holding them and meditating with them to manifest money and material wealth because that's what they're intended for. I just cannot, for the life of me, find what they're called or remember. So I'll have to find that and maybe put the link in the description or you guys can let me know, especially with this little skull because I can't remember. Next, I have some black obsidian, howlite, and amethyst in these little bracelets. I personally love wearing my crystals as jewelry, so these bracelets make it super easy. This amethyst that I have is a really deep purple, which is unusual. It's usually a lot brighter, but I found this piece and I loved how deep the purple was that I couldn't resist. Um, amethyst is amazing. It is known as the master healing crystal. It's very high in vibration, carries a lot of powerful energy for spiritual workers, um, it's known for destroying energy, negative energy, and it activates your intuition. Next up, I have my piece of Howlite. Howlite is a peace stone, and it links to spiritual dimensions, opens your attunement to receive wisdom and messages from the other side. It assists in journeys outside of the body, um, like astral projection. It's a stone that I haven't had the opportunity to work with a lot. Um, I have not spent too much time with it, but I really should because it's exactly what I want to achieve. And last but not least, we have the Black Obsidian. The Black Obsidian is amazing. It is a protective stone. Um, it's supposed to ground you and um, ground your spiritual forces around you. Um, it is literally made from a volcano, so it's volcano glass, much like the Tektite um, Moldavite, which we talked about earlier. I love Black Obsidian, but again, it's one that I haven't worked with a lot. Um, it's really helpful if you're doing any shadow work, working on yourself, on any of your demons per se, it protects you from psychic attacks from other people, so if someone's wishing bad upon you or, like, trying to curse you, it's not possible if you have black obsidian in your life. It's a really great stone. Another well-rounded piece. So now I am opening all of the windows in my house to begin my smudging ceremony for the new moon to invite all that positive manifesting energy in. I start by lighting the sage with intention, and I like to envision like a beautiful positive ray of light. Um, and then you want to work from the four corners of your house clockwise with all the windows open and just spread the, the sage around everything that you need to cleanse. Anything that you'd like to invite good vibes into, just spread that sage all around. I like to do it a few times in a clockwise circle. I might repeat like a mantra or an intention and just really envision what it is that I want to achieve while I smudge. Okay, so there you have it. That's my little crystal tour for the day. I am gonna go and finish my new moon ritual and unwind because I am, I think my crystals can sense how tired I am. So 
I hope this video was informative. I hope that you enjoyed celebrating crystals the way that I do. And uh, thanks for checking out my channel. Please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. So drop a comment if you have any of these crystals because um, I would love to know. Let me know what crystal I should get next. I'm always on the hunt. Thanks for watching. Bye.